Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TCEPS and Fast Films. I'd like to talk to you about the real process color CMYK routine in TCEPS. Now, as with other routines, if you push on the yellow button, it tells you about this, and it says a real process color is where the four pigment colors of CMYK, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. The K stands for black, by the way. They're printed along with an optional white and spot colors. It says the original artwork must be in RGB mode. Now, this process is designed for light shirts or medium-colored shirts. On light shirts, you don't print the highlight white or the underbase white. On medium-colored shirts, you might print the underbase white. And this routine is run on images that are very photorealistic. Let me click on Run Process Color RGB to CMYK. And it, again, tells you what's going to happen, and it says you must load the masked version first and the unmasked version second. I'm going to run this on a file that used to come with Photoshop. Years and years ago, you got this file that came with Photoshop as a, a known quality test file. And this file was called Ole Nomare. And again, that was years and years ago. But it's a great file because it has lots of colors in it. Now, this is our job separated as CMYK. We're not quite done yet, but right now this job is almost done. I mean, we could actually print the file out from now, but because the file is called a composite in Photoshop, we can't change the print order right now to display the underbase where it belongs. The routine made an underbase for medium colored shirts and a highlight white. So it made those, but as a composite, Photoshop says you can't display it. By the way, if you end up and have the underbase on, it's going to look incorrect. You'll wonder what's going on is because you're looking at the underbase on top of the print. Now, Photoshop will convert a file to CMYK. It'll convert from RGB to CMYK. But Photoshop doesn't know about dot gain, doesn't know about T-shirts, doesn't know about our inks and the impurities. And so Photoshop will do CMYK separations that typically will print muddy. And so you need to always run TCEPs for your CMYK SEPs. At this point, if you're only going on to a white shirt color and you don't need the underbase or the highlight, you could print your SEPs out right now. The other thing is I'd like to display this in the right print order. We don't print cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. We print YMCK. And because a composite doesn't allow us to do that, then we, we can't display it correctly. We need to do one more thing to make this print correctly. And that other thing is we're going to click on Process Final Display. And we click on that, and it tells you that this takes the composite CMYK and puts everything in the right print order. It also says do not convert to this routine if you're going to try and take this file into Illustrator or Corel Draw. Now, the file is going to display duller when we're done here. The problem with CMYK is displaying it correctly. We're adjusting for dot gain. We're using uh, the ink values that we told in the Photoshop setup to use. And we're displaying it just so you can see it on a natural colored shirt. I'll click on the shirt color. We're displaying it on that shirt color right there. And there's the underbase if you're going to go on a natural shirt or any medium shirt color. There's the process yellow, process magenta, process cyan, and process black. And the highlight white, if we want to print the highlight white. Now, the problem is the black looks weak. But because we get more dot gain on the black, and it's hard to tell Photoshop to adjust for more dot gain just for one color, uh, we're displaying it. It's a little weak, but the, the black is definitely going to get richer when you print it. The other problem is, is that any CMYK routine will tend to print a little duller, and it doesn't have the jump. Like in the, as an example, the red here is being made with magenta and yellow. And you'll always get a little more of an orange and duller red than if you print a spot red. And so when you see a great CMYK design, chances are it's actually five or six colors. It probably has a couple of spot colors for key colors. We will cover that in the next video on this series. So that is how to run real CMYK, real process color in TCEPs.